morning, amigos. Dr. Doug here. Found an article in publication. What is this? Medical News Today. Very thorough people. It is, why do we love coffee when it is so bitter? Well, for one thing, uh, coffee, of course, <laughs> like what I'm drinking, has caffeine. Caffeine is a stimulant. Stimulants move chi. We like to get the chi moving. That's why coffee and tea are so popular all over the world. They're stimulants that get the chi moving, and of course, chi stagnation is pain and causes disease. Of course, getting up and walking will stimulate the chi, right? So uh, that's one reason that coffee is so popular. But they're talking about the bitter taste. And they can't figure out why some people like the bitter taste, because it is bitter, right? It's not sweet. And poisons are bitter, by the way. Uh, a lot of plants in nature are bitter, and they tend to be poisonous. Well, in Chinese medicine, we counteract poison with poison. A lot of the most of the strongest herbs in our pharmacopoeia are bitter, and in fact, antibiotics are bitter. If you taste an antibiotic drug, it's very bitter. Bitter counteracts poison, counteracts toxicity in the body. And with so much food stagnation sitting around, churning up uh, disease inside the body, becoming toxic, toxic sludge, toxic heat, naturally, uh, we don't mind bitter. A lot of people don't mind it, but it has been expunged from the diet in order to sell food. And that's why coffee and tea are so popular. That's practically, practically the only place we can get bitter taste. Bitter taste takes that toxicity and drains it down and out through the urine. So it's very useful. Anyway, that's my explanation. It's not genetic. I mean, you know, whenever they can't find an answer for something, that's the go-to explanation. Well, it's got to be genetic, but they really don't know. They, scientists, that is. Anyway, enjoy your coffee, enjoy your tea or whatever bitter happens to find its way into your life. And have a great day, amigos. Hasta mañana.